the big game. Technically, I want a draw well, here. Upshaw's in, um, back into the team, and um, Labato came in because the guy that scored a goal in the last game got injured. Lol. So I had to switch the team around. Force changes. Um, so shouldn't cause any problems really. I've still got talented players I can bring in. Um, nobody expects us to get a result tonight. I mean, when you look at it, technically, as long as you make the top half, you'll get. You should see the call. You should see the European comments I'm having to make here. It says we're underdogs. It's like, um, good luck out there tonight. You're going to need it and stuff like that. It's like what? That's what it's actually saying there in my options. Well, the Dundee are predicted to finish. Yeah, third. so they're predicted to be better than me. So, interesting match this one. I think it's just the manager. Jackie McNamara. <laughs> I hate that guy. He hates me. Yeah, he's he's, he's awesome. A real dick. Oh, that's why. Anyway, um, right, where was I? Yeah, um, Yep, this is St. Geoffrey Gigard Stadium for St. Etienne against Celtic. Um, don't know any players. Um, Zuma Mertins, Melvitt Endrick, Kembo Ekoku, Burfe. Well, this is the team that, um, that Kurt Thornley guy came from. And Zomba, well, the my left back. Well, about well, Santetti and their own dirty team that likes to kick the players. Yeah. You know, all the teams in games like the kick players, like Hibs and Celtic. I don't know. Well, I'm having to put a centre back at left back. Goal is playing left back. <clears throat> Going up, the big throw. Steals catches that one. No problems there. A big throw out. What and throw? Picked out Quintero. It's defended well enough by uh, Santetti here. Martins. Babacane. Marcin. Back to Perrine. Blam. Martins. Oh, tackle from Martins. What a brilliant tackle. Wow, Bacuri's. This, is this game is going to be quite violent. In the rain, people were no prisoners for the slides. Matthew's better watch his legs. And Matthew Hughes. Yeah. Casalo's yeah. deflected. Yeah. Uh, just deflected it well, Hughes. Casalo nearly scored a pitch of a goal. That had some curl and on it. And bend it. And it got blocked and it rebounded to well, Hughes. Don't. The guy that um, Zuma deflected the header. Zuma, he's. I was a I was done to buy him. I was done to buy Zuma this season. He doing things like that. So why? There's a ref being Celtic's twelfth <laughs> man. Oh, well, go, go! I'm um, trying to take it, Matthews, but that wasn't going to happen. Wow, he's pinched his goal. <laughs> I'm sure Matthews buried that in the net. Go, I'm um, apparently on. Too many own goals in this game. 
How can that be an own goal? I don't really see <laughs> how he scored an own goal there. He's behind the guy, so how can it be an own goal? Doesn't make any sense. Plant's not right there. There's Lasan. Marianne Zai for company. Ikoku. Bukalai. Kembo knocks it back. Lasan. Up for Bakari. Oh, that's nicely done. By Lauren Bakari. He of the dreadlocks. Puts the ball back to steals, which um not many have done so far this season, I have to say. Must be good to beat Celtic's defence. Um Well that's my main centre back is playing at left back. So gone. Oh, anything that happens here. Back at Bicasalo. Not a reflection of defence. Over the back, Platt. He's got space to run into another guy at fullbacks. Don't know why he's running back that ass. I think he's trying to cover the line. <laughs> Quintero to deliver. Across the box, Roher. Not quite the connection required. It was Rufia catching that one. And this match still in the balance. Celtic winning 2 1 at the present moment. Quintero. Keys it up. Brilliant save by Rufi Cruz. They've somehow got that back out. Quintero. Drilled in again. Bacali gets it out. And the counter attack here. Look at the bodies run. <laughs> Nope. First round happens with Pantanima being the first casualty, but surprising result happening um for Pasitas who are drawing with a Tormus, um who are sitting there on four points for some crazy ass reason. I don't I don't think the Greek team would be that good, but apparently they are. <laughs> so topsy survey this one he is. Well, oh. Yeah, confident. Never had Hendra on the bench, which was a big mistake because I wasn't expecting Pantanima Pantone, to be injured. So I've got my best centre back playing left back. Is that why the is that defense why you're sort of set, oh, fuck off? He just fucking scored from the fucking cross. Wow. Wait for the replay. Scored from a cross. I didn't mean that. It's corner. It's, wow. OP cross. Um, Santetti are robbing Celtic the victory here. The last kick of the ball, virtually. Yeah. There's um, some robbery there from Ancetian. It's an away game, but it's a robbery because somebody would have won that match. Our goalkeeper wasn't really epic. Well, Planting Nemo was injured, and that was a major influence in the game. We seek to spot back and got a late goal, so they won that match against the Tormus because that was going to be a shock, but. Um, this it just got back, so Pantinima's out for two to three months. Fucking arseholes. Well Andrew's back in the team, Lobato comes at left back, McLeod comes back into the team. Because um Wilkshire lost the ball a lot and it wasn't helpful against the United. Um Chalmers across the box, Wallace knocks it back out, Spence, that's the player, and there's rebounds and the other guy scores as well. What's my defence when it comes to set pieces? Are we ending? Oh my god, he's put it in. I need to tackle more, he's aren't tackling enough. He's a kind of standing off player, you're not actually tackling. And that's why you're not actually doing anything. 
Do I have to play with a defender mid? Is that where the problem is? Do I play with a defensive mid? What? Well, that's sure. Hmm. Possessions there. And that's really bad as well. To eight. Yeah. I've got more concerning thing is the performance wasn't there. Edmund got like six seven, six eight. They all got high stat performances all. Uh some are going to play the game at eight six, so Shabalas in, Javi, Canelas more. So changing team personnel for Celtic for this match, but well it's the same boys. Montero comes on and sort this out. Walks back Miller, yeah well, Quintero. Remember there's bring bring Quintero on and the game changes because he's been making such an impact for Celtic. Purple's out to left hand side, Meredith, Gillespie. He's Dan Meredith. Nice play from St Mirren. Passing close passes. Rubino steps in there. Passes straight to Quintero who finds his man and plat chips the goalkeeper. Lofting the ball high into the net. Continue to run down plat now. All right, Celtic play Kamarnock. Yeah, another league game, and another team for Celtic to scalp because of the beaten. Um, if I wasn't for the lag, I would actually click this button, but I can't click this button. Oh well, it's because you started the match. Well, I'll go back to what I was saying. Ever so far, they've beaten eight teams. This is going to be a nice game. Um, so if they beat Kamarak, it'll be a run, it'll be another step closer to beat every single team in the league, um, so far this year. So, definitely something Celtic are looking to do. Um, um, yeah, Cruz is catching up with Woodrow. <laughs> Javi delivering it again. Casalo. Wow, the centre backs are on a roll. Casalo again. Showing his ghost going prowess. Where do you credit that both centre backs have got in the score sheet? Comes off that post. There's Moorhead. Here's a chance to counter attack. Going long. Far too long because no one's up there. It's Henry. They come again. Platt. Platt. Oh, he's no passing. He's just going to shoot. <laughs> the number nine for Celtic. Thanks. Rather pa shoot than pass. And that's just the way he goes. Darn Platt. This guy. I think this guy is probably more epic than Zicolini. Well, Platt's on a roll. And he's, he's what do getting... you think? Who would you rather have? Darn Platt or Zicolini? Oh, for, oh, for, for England? Oh, I'd rather have Danny Welbeck. He's amazing, Danny Welbeck. Um, I don't know. Zikovic. Both of them have the qualities. Ha but... had, um, he had the technical capabilities. He was good at all the silky stuff, the back heels and whatnot. Platt's is selfish. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> but that's um, Chris Sutton or whatever it is um, up front is the more I'll shoot rather than pass Henry yeah it's right Miller Miller's in and scores and Celtic cruising it's 4-0 is there anyone that can stop Celtic in the role they won every game so far. 
except for the match against Sin Setien, which kind of was unfortunate. But, but apart from that, Celtic won every single other game. Celtic 4, Kamarnak now, and the league goes on. 29 goals, one reply. <laughs> it's kind of... Um, Two games in hand. Yeah, United are not even anywhere near that. Fortunately, I'm playing Rafe Rovers next, which probably is probably the worst team in the league. Um, be too much for a problem. All right, starts far at Rafe Rovers Rangers. Keepers in the corner taking this kick. Grimmerton, Franks. Thompson tries to hit it long. Well covered by Bozart. Bullet. A cloud. 1 2 Bullet. Out to Patterson over the back. Woodrow. Big chance for Woodrow. And he's not going to miss that one. Woodrow is ninth goal of the season. Puts Rangers in front. And Fraser. Across that box. Look back in. Defend it. Oh, it's um Yeah. A fortunate goal from the set place as it went back across the box. And Thompson scrambles it in. And Rafe was a robbed it. Ah the point. Their one attack last minute goal from Ray Flores. Disappointing, seriously disappointing. Well, I said peace of all things. They should be scoring more than one yeah. goal. Four now up, so when something like that happens. Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of just yeah. fixing my team because I've got quite a few injuries. So, European game, you know how restricted it is. I like to stop doing the commentary while I eat my cheesecake. Well, we're back to the European. You can do your European tune if you want. We're back to European football where I trot yeah. this is a Greek side which we think is crap, but so for some reason or other, is actually doing well because they've actually got points in this group. <laughs> Unbelievably so. Um, so I know it's Celtic sitting top of the group. Looking to see what happens with Besiktas and AS Sant Etienne. As you recall, last trip out at Sant Etienne came away with points against Celtic, so we're looking to get on track against probably what we thought would be the weakest team in the league, so. Apparently, might not be so. Um, Celtic team from the, the usual players: Canellas from Valencia, yes, I uh, Hughes, Sandro Enriquez with Henry Cruz, Casalo, and Matthews and Delac. Casalo is turning into quite a good prospect for Celtic, and parking the bus tire. So with the five v two from the Greeks. And I don't know any of the Greek players, so I won't even try even pronouncing their names. Well, Palais will be in plot today. He's Young English pretty awesome. Some massive prospects of England are looking at him. <laughs> that from Sandro, yes, I. And here go the burners from Young, yes, I. And the keeper has to turn it over the bar. Well, at least I thought he did. Looks like he didn't, actually. Um, I think he missed it. Early shots, Stuart sides up. Oh, well, set piece. Well, that's knocked out by the keeper. That's Henry. Winding it up. A good save by Baftis. Baftis for a good save hand. Well, Platt continues to be offside. Um, can I ask from this side now? 
That's headed back out. Casalo Cruz. Well, the centre backs combine. And again, the bookies aren't too happy because these centre backs are quite prolific. <laughs> <laughs> Bookie's favourites nowadays. His top goal scorers in the Champions League. Oh, it's the centre backs of Celtic. Um, <laughs> well, um, yeah, yeah. The most deadliest players are the centre um, backs of the moment. Celtic are pretty deadly Celtic, from yeah. corners nowadays. Presence of the two centre backs. It's um, quite dangerous. Oh, the centre backs yeah. of the stadium. That's There's a fire in the stadium. Action there with the fires. Callis. The ball is silly. Brilliant by Sandro. Nice big tackle. Flipped outside. It's Ruckus. <laughs> Missed the target. Well, wait. Don't act so happy to see that go behind. What's the linesman doing? <laughs> Kakalis has to go off. And Kalinazakis. Moving to the right. Flicks it up. Stoichaius tries to put it through. Here's Rockus again. The lack. Bar. Oh, he's off side, apparently. Um, so, a good stop by the lack, though. That'll get his confidence up. Captain Celtic. Casalo. Matthews. Go, go, Matthews. Matthews. Look, it's Hughes. Where's he going? Well, back up. Matthews. Hughes. Well, Matthews. You'll get. Yeah, Matthews, two many assists for Matthews. It's freaking epic. <laughs> Is Matthews the best right back in Europe <laughs> right now? <laughs> in history. Heck, heck, right back. He's fucking he's a brilliant right winger. Gary Neville believes so. Youngest right back talent around. It was a tricky trip to go, but Celtic fairing it well. And taking us to half time 2 0. Um, losing for France, Saint Etienne leading, leading 3 0 against Basic just so certainly Celtic will be top of the group. Good result, a good for result there, Celtic. I'd say. Um, Basic tests are actually yeah. second, changes the group around, so that's uh, not bad results. Um, certainly in command. This would drop the Greek step down to the bottom of the league where they kind of expect to be. Um, they've not even had a sniff in here and this is their home stadium, so... Celtic using this game, which will be a double header because they'll play them in Glasgow next. Um, use this game as a launch pad to get their campaign well and surely done. You could be done by now. It would push you on 10 points. Well, so. two subs. Um, Fowler's coming on up front, and Gus um, MacArthur's coming on there and defender mids. So, in theory, two results here, like I was saying, a result here and a result in Glasgow could put this league like over and done with for you, um, even before yeah. you play the last two games. Um, did think you should cruise this group, they weren't exactly hard teams you picked, so. You've got fortunate. <laughs> they do need to put they do need to put a fire out Brilliant. really bad. Miller's on in goal. That's a poor miss from his standards. That's yeah. why he used to play for Hamlin. That the geek's containing now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my tactic. I don't know. Nothing's happening. <laughs> That's because I'm using my tactics. <laughs> <laughs> this is Roy's editing tactic. I don't know. This sort of means that when I press this button, he knows that he doesn't need to um, no. edit anything after this. Yeah, full time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, the whole second half I don't have to do. Nothing happens. <laughs> Nothing happened in the second half. <laughs> um, well, I mean, we seem to score two goals in the second half. That's about all that happens. They got um, Schalke put five past Cluj. Results there. Whoops. I'm on the screen. Um. If we can beat oh, Basel. Four one. That's a Drew with Arsenal the Norwegian Drew. team. That's quite a shocker. That's a lost the late. Um, Bordeaux won. Elsenberg lost. Um, was it, let's see if I see any shockers. Not really. Um, Norwich should beat Bidditton. <laughs> no surprises there. Um, Seville put five past Copenhagen. Stuttgart. You know. Villarreal drove a Palermo. Zenit drove a Victoria please in, so I'm going to read one. But yeah, quite standard stuff there. Celtic so coast past um, Athens. Um, back to their centre backs again. <laughs> um, 